Well, let's go ahead and continue with some good eats as we also honor the service and sacrifice of generations of Americans. Chefs Marty and Chef Stormy Mangello honor those through food. And today they join us from the United States Presidential Culinary Museum with a famous president and military veterans favorite breakfast. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for having us. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited that y'all are with us. And I have to admit, I didn't even know there was a Presidential Culinary Museum. Yeah, yeah, supported by uh, many of the presidents. And honestly, uh, the exhibits, people just love them. Yeah, where, where exactly is it? We're in the town named after the president of the United States, Grover, North Carolina, here in Cleveland County, named after Grover, Cleveland. I absolutely love it. All right, so tell me what you're cooking up this morning and which president we're honoring. Yeah, so we have a beauty shot here of the finished product. This is uh, President Grant's favorite buckwheat pancakes that he had all during the Civil War. And then we have got his batter dipped fried apples that were served in the White House for years with some bacon. And we're gonna do some beautiful Vermont syrup. So let's get started, right? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, it looks absolutely delicious. So where do we begin? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, um, we have a griddle over here and we went ahead and did, a, you know, about a cup of buckwheat flour and also a cup of uh, self-rising flour. Of course, buttermilk or sour milk is very famous and a little bit of salt. And then of course, two eggs and Chef Stormy is gonna go on ahead and start dropping cakes. We like to cut this uh, half flour, half buckwheat, so it's not as strong. Right. Yeah, just try to, you know, not a lot of people love full on buckwheat, so. Yeah, might be a little bit of an acquired taste, the whole full on buckwheat. Yeah. So kind of, so yeah, ease into it. Cutting this in half. And then what we did for the fried apples, I've got some oil here. I'm just checking my heat. Um, we have a little bit of batter here that we did. Uh, this is egg yolks and powdered sugar, half a cup of powdered sugar and half a cup of regular flour. Okay, uh, are we you... had a beautiful tart apple. There you go. I was going to say, are you using Granny Smith apples? Granny Smith, exactly today. Just core Granny Smith and peel it. And so we're going to dredge them in this beautiful batter and let's drop them into the oil. I have and to this say, is how I've this never I just dredged apples. Dredged apples. I can't believe this is like, and you know they're about a half an inch thick, so that is surprising that they do actually cook through yeah. and they're soft. Yeah. Yeah. And then after yeah. you do that, you 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 tempted us with a, a the Vermont maple syrup. So I'm I'm assuming. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So yeah. President Grant, he did maple syrup, not molasses. Yes, yeah, so molasses or maple syrup, oh. it's your choice. I mean, okay. honestly, we wouldn't argue with anyone um, unless it was President Coolidge from Vermont. He probably would flip yeah. out if it's not. <laughs> he probably <laughs> would. Hey, I do want to ask because I, make, I want to make sure I'm correct. You have worked under six presidents? I've actually worked with the past six presidents on veterans issues, housing issues, Post 9-11 GI Bill, every day I was cooking for Bill Clinton at Camp David or state dinners in the White House, inside the White House, massive state dinners. Yeah. yeah. So uh, can you tell me a fun, like, inside the White House cooking story, like something I would be surprised to oh, hear? Oh, my gosh. I'll be honest with you. Let me flip here a couple of these cakes. Um, one of the hilarious ones was really a pissed-off president. <laughs> president Coolidge came over to the the chef's office door one day and he had a skillet in his hand and he was very angry and he said who's the who's the person that's making these cute little pancakes um it's not how we do it in vermont they're they're huge flapjacks <laughs> and i wanted to stop and they said he looked very menacing and yeah. threatening with the skillet in his hand yeah <laughs> so uh, i thought that was just hilarious when i read that so he didn't yeah. really want, he wanted like the little silver dollar pancakes? Is that what he wanted? He wanted actually big flapjacks. Big, yeah. huge ones, like the size he of a plate. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, these are the funny stories that we discover. And of course, we highlight these at the Presidential Culinary Museum. I'm going to turn that back over to Stormy. And let's get these apples out because these are beautiful, just fried apples. And I like to just watch the heat there with the oil. So and how can... we're going to dust them with a little bit of cinnamon. 
It looks and amazing. And so here I've got some cinnamon, and that's really it, guys. And there we are. Uh, we're out of time. Uh, quickly, though, I just want to know how people can best come and see you all or eat what you're making or learn more about all these fun yeah. stories. Yeah, uh, we have a massive website, presidentialculinarymuseum.org. Um, stop in any time or come down and stay with us and have a chance to eat history. I love it. Chance to eat history. Fantastic. Thank you both. Thank Chef you. Marty Thank and you. Stormy. Yes. Happy Memorial Day. Yeah, Bye -bye. Appreciate you both. Bye-bye.